Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a hot minute since I've sat here talking to you and I do apologize for that, but I needed a mental health break ever since Manly Seagull season ended and you could make the argument that it ended when Tommy Turbo got injured in Origin 2, but I believed in the boys and look, I won't lie, my enjoyment for footy was very much dwindling after Origin. But the finals are around the corner. The regular season is done. And we need to talk about this team. And no, it's not the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs, it's the other most talked about team at the moment. Now, a few, well, let's be honest. Over a month ago, I made a video of the most disappointing team of 2023. Because the Sydney Roosters, when they got pumped by the Brisbane Broncos, I thought that there was mathematically no chance they could be playing finals footy in 2023. Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Five wins in a row later. The Sydney Roosters, they are playing finals footy in 2023. And there was one team that I said was a lock. There's a team that I said just five weeks ago that they weren't in the top eight business, that was still in the top four business. A team that was leading the competition after round 11. And let's talk about Rusty South Sydney Rabbitohs because what the bloody hell has happened first after round 11. And guess what? Guess where they are at now? They're ninth and they ain't moving till they play the Mighty Eagles in Vegas. So ladies and gentlemen, as always, smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel because we are back. We are back for finals. Even some international footy on the horizon. And then we all know Rugby League doesn't die in the offseason. In fact, we get to talk about recruitment. So do the big three and let's start talking about these South Sydney Rabbitohs. Because like I said... After round 11, I was there. I was at Magic Round when they put a clinic on a near full-strength Melbourne Storm side. They were the form team of the competition. Latrell Mitchell was the best fullback in the comp. He had overtaken James Tedesco. Campbell Grahams was the best outside back in the competition. He was meant to be picked for origin over Tommy Turbo. Alex Johnson was scoring 50,000 tries every match. Cody Walker was putting his hand up for origin selection. Lockie Elias, according to Joey Johns, was the second string New South Wales Blues halfback. And look, that was a bit audacious. And now people are calling for him to be dropped from the side because Jack One is going there. So it just proves how far the South Sydney Rabbitohs have fallen. Not even a year after the Brisbane Broncos dramatic fallout of the finals. I didn't think we'd be seeing one again. And this one, I don't think it's as bad, but you could make the argument that it is. And let's be honest, I'm not pushing back if you do think so, because this was a team that sat with eight wins and three losses after round 11. One of the few sides to play in every single one of those games. They pumped the flying Brisbane Broncos in round nine, the Melbourne Storm in round 10. And ever since round 11, ever since the selection for Origin 1, they have fallen off a cliff. In the last 13 games, they've won four times. That's four wins and nine losses. And they should really be sitting here with three wins and 10 losses because one of those wins, somehow, they picked up over against the Warriors but most of their star players. So there's a lot of things you can pinpoint it. The Luttrell injury is the one that comes to mind. But when you look at the stats, this is the one that's glaring to me. In their first 11 games, the South Sydney Rabbitohs conceded 150 points. That's an average of 13.6 points per game. The Penrith Panthers, the best defensive side this season, are conceding just under that 12.8 points per game the Penrith Panthers conceded during the 2023 regular season. Now that's over their first 11 games. In their final 13 games, the Bunnies conceded 355 points. They conceded an average of 27.3 points per game. That is almost double. In fact, it is actually just 0.1 more than double what they were conceding in their first 11 games. And when you talk about defense, the number one thing that ex-players, coaches, and everyone always talk about, it's attitude. And to put it simply, while we can blame the Luttrell injury, while we can blame the travel, while we can blame the not being able to use a core because the Tillies were an absolute fire, I think simply at the end of the day, it was an attitude problem. They went and doubled the amount of points they were conceding in their last 13 games compared to their first 11 games. Remember how good they were going? They were the favorites with the bookies after Magic Round to win the comp. More than the Penrith Panthers who had a slow start to this season, 
And when we saw, when they signed Jack White, we all sat here and thought, well, this is unfair. The South Sydney Rabbitohs are the best team in the competition, and they've just gone and added a Dallium Origin player to their lineup. We all thought that. And now people are sitting here saying that the South Sydney Rabbitohs Premiership winner, despite signing Jack White, is over. And while I definitely wouldn't go that far, in fact, I'll get into it in just a moment, obviously something's going wrong there off the field. Whether it's complacency, there's been rumblings that the work ethic's off between, you know, whether you like Latrell Mitchell, absolutely necking a beer with Ty and Luke Combs on stage, having all this time off allegedly, you chuck in the Sam Burgess drama, it's clear that something has just gone absolutely pear-shaped since round 11. I said it just five weeks ago. They were in the top four business. South fans had nothing to worry about. And then, all of a sudden, it wasn't until they lost to the Newcastle Knights, we all went, oh my God, South are actually a chance here. Because everyone flirted with the idea. Everyone, especially Roosters fans, were talking about how South knew we're going to miss the eight. But no one actually, actually believed it. We were waiting for Latrell Mitchell, Cody Walker, Campbell Graham, Cameron Murray, Damien Cook, Alex Johnson. All these guys to click into gear. And guess what? It's September time. And Bunnies fans don't have to wait for another prelim to be knocked out of the competition because they won't be playing another National Rugby League game until they're in Vegas with the mighty Manly Seagulls. So when people want to sit here and pinpoint what's going on, I think it's clear. It's just an attitude problem. And I sit here and I still say, you know, Rabbitohs fans that have been hating on me for what I've been saying in this video, even though it's probably hard to agree with, even if you're a diehard, I still think the Roosters have been very disappointing. Unless they make a grand final, I think it's been a disappointing year. Roosters fans, you can try and spin it. The board can try and spin it. But at the end of the day, it's been a disappointing year for the Sydney Roosters because they were the preseason premiership favourites with a lot of people. And it's likely that they're going to lose week one of the finals. I mean, they scraped into the eight. But the South Sydney Rabbitohs have to have overtaken them as the most disappointing team of the year. Pre-season, we all said that they and the Roosters were one and two to challenge Penrith. Nobody was even mentioning the Brisbane Broncos after what happened to them this net last year, sorry. But what has gone on at that club, especially off of the last two weeks, has been something to see these powerful clubs. Are we seeing a change in the tide? A tide change? Shout out to the surfers. Shout out to the bra boys because I'm definitely getting that wrong. Because between the Sydney Roosters at the start of the year and now the South Sydney Rabbitohs, there's obviously leaks and they're still in a way better position than the poor old doggies are at the moment having to go into next year. But how people are talking about this South Sydney side now compared to what they were talking about them in May, it's absolutely amazing. A lot of people were sitting here saying they were the best team in the competition. And you know what? I was nearly agreeing with them. On form they were. And I've just been waiting. We've all been waiting for them to click into gear. We thought it was going to be the Sharks game. They lost that. They barely got by the Dragons and the Tigers. And then we thought, all right, this Newcastle game, Hastings is out. This is when they'll cement their spot in the oak. They lost that. They had two weeks off. They were blasted by the media, playing against the Sydney Roosters. Basically, finals came early, and they didn't even were in the game, to be honest. I mean, look, it was close. It was 16-12 at one point in the second half. But if you actually watch that game, it wasn't until Campbell Graham got a very lucky offside penalty that all of a sudden they were able to score that try and grab momentum. And as soon as one thing didn't go their way, they've lost it. And South Sydney have just been the same team for a number of years. They've got great attack, but their defense has let them down. They've been a team that can win 40 to 30, but they're not one to win 20 to 18. And their completion rate has been poor. No, their completion rate was poor again, but earlier in the year, they got gritty wins over Penrith. They are one of the few teams outside of the bloody Eels who love beating Penrith when it doesn't matter to actually beat them. And it was out of court, but they beat them. They beat Manly and 13-12. I know Manly didn't have going to have the best season, but they started the season really well. They got a tight win over that one. And just ever since, they had pumped Brisbane at Suncorp. They pumped Melbourne at Magic Round, and Melbourne loved playing at Suncorp. And ever since, I want to know what is going on at that club. Burgess is gone. Morris is gone. The pressure is well and truly on Jason Demetrio. Whether it was an attitude problem, whether it was just a work ethic thing, if we are, if I'm Demetrio, if I'm a leading player, if I'm Cameron Murray, I'm telling, boys, 
100%, no more time off, because we've got a roster that can win a comp, because on paper, especially earlier this year, it was the best team on comp on paper in the comp. Same with the Roosters, and both of these big market teams have just absolutely failed this year, but at least the Roosters have gone on to make finals. Sam Walker is red hot at the moment, and who knows, anything can happen in finals footy. Maybe they can make a run and push a prelim, or potentially even a grand final. But the South Sydney Rabbitohs don't even have an opportunity to do that anymore. Look, I don't think the Premiership window is sharp. Jack Whiten, he's going to add so much to that side. Where he's playing centre, I still think there's a chance he could end up in the halves or even in the back row. Where the South City know their identity and just want to go full ball because their roster next year is better than it was this year. And as long as you can keep Latrell fit and hungry, maybe get him fitter. There's been a lot of criticism around him, and let's face it, I'm not one to talk, but he is definitely carrying a bit of extra body mass. If you had the Roosters Latrell playing fullback for South with that work ethic he had back then, he would literally be the best player in the competition. That's why Tom Chavoyevich is so special. He's Dylan Edwards' work rate with Latrell Mitchell's ability. So if Latrell Mitchell can just get that work rate up, he could easily be the best fullback in the competition. It was only in May we were talking about him being the best fullback, and it wasn't until he got injured and he's come back, and maybe he still has been injured ever since, but an injury that was supposed to take a week, taking him out for 12 weeks, I'm not too sure what's going on. There's so many mysteries what's going off the field. It looks like it's not a joint you want to be part of at the moment, but on paper, it's got to be a roster that gets back into the eight next year. Same with the Cowboys. Same with the Eagles. It's been definitely a surprising year. No one's predictions, unless they are good, shout out to you, have come off in a good way this year. But there's no doubt, in my opinion, considering their start of the season, that the South Sydney Rabbitohs are easily the most disappointing team of 2023. This video is for you Roosters fans. Who won't stop nagging me? Because, yeah, I made this video about years and you're playing finals footy. So good luck to you. My finals predictions will be out tomorrow morning. So enjoy that then. But ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for taking a month off. Your boy really needed it though to fall in love with some rugby league football. And now that it's finals time, you bet we are back. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know, do you think the South Sydney Rabbitohs premiership window is closed? Or can they go with Jack White and joining the club? Let me know. Do the big three, and I'll see you in the next one. Right now.